Hello, sixth hour. Um, I am not able to be in class today, uh, this afternoon. So hopefully uh, you all have a handout that looks like this. Um, we're just going to go through this for your notes today. And then um, any time remaining, you can use to work on your assignment. So please um, put your name on this just in case it's left you know, after class or you forget it somewhere, then we can get it back to you. Um, today we're going to continue our discussion about circles. So this is 10-2. So we're going to be looking at some arcs and some angles within these circles today. So the first item that we're going to take a look at is what we call a central angle. Okay, And a central angle has the center of the circle as its vertex and the sides are radii. So that's plural for radius. So what that means is if I have a circle, here's the center, so that's the vertex of my angle, and then the sides of my angle are radii. So I would say that that's like n degrees, for example. And we use an n to signify that. Okay. So we're going to be doing a little bit of work with uh, central angles today. All right. Um, then uh, the next thing, the sum of central angles. So let's say we had all these different central angles in here. You probably can, you guys can probably figure this out. But when no interior points are shared, the sum of all, s that's not how you spell central, central angles is 360. And that kind of makes sense because if you go all the way around the circle, you know, it's 360 total degrees in a circle. Okay, so that's kind of where our focus is going to lie today. So we are going to now kind of take a look at um, some arcs, all right? There are a couple of uh, different arcs, three different arcs that we can um, identify. The first of these is a minor arc. So the definition of a minor arc is an arc that measures less than 180 degrees. Okay, well, we know about angle measure, but we haven't really talked about arc measure. Okay, so here's an example. Let's say that in my circle, maybe I have a central angle that looks like this. Okay, so I'm going to go A, B, C. So if the measure of this angle is 110, this right here, the arc that it opens up to, it's like that portion of that circle. That's what an arc is, okay? And central angles and their arcs are going to have the same measure. So if that central angle is 110, guess what? That arc is 110 as well, all right? So again, the arc is that portion of the circle that the central angle opens up to, okay? Now when we name an arc, it's going to be named by the letters of the two endpoints. Okay, so in this one, we have an end of that arc right here and the other end of that arc is right there. So we would say that this is arc AC and then we put a little arc over it or you could say CA. The order doesn't necessarily matter with arcs. Then you put a little arc over it, just like we did with segments. You know, we put a little segment over the top of it. Okay. Now, we already kind of talked about this, but as far as degree measure goes, well, arc degree is going to be the same as a central angle. So the measure of the central angle is going to be the same as the measure of the arc. So for example, I said that the measure of angle ABC is 110. Well, that would also mean that the measure of arc AC 
equals 110. Remember that little m means the measure of the angle, so that means we're just talking about degrees there. Okay, so that is minor arcs. The next one is what we call a major arc. Okay, well, if a minor arc is an arc that measures less than 180, a major arc is an arc that measures greater than 180. Okay, so as far as an example, if I draw in a central angle like that, Okay, and I'm going to call this G, and then I'll put D and E on here. Let's say this central angle was 60 degrees. Well, that does not open up to a major arc. So what that would mean is that this whole arc here is the major arc. All right? So rather than being 60, the measure of this whole thing is going to be 300. All right? Now, when you name a major arc, we don't just want to use the endpoints because if I say DE, well, that could be this little arc here too. Um, so how am I supposed to know? So what we're going to do is I'm going to put another point on here. So I'm going to put an F on there. So when we name a major arc, yes, we are going to name it by the letters at the endpoints and another letter on the arc. Okay, and we're going to go right in order. So if I were to like trace this arc, I could call it D, F, E. So D, F, E. Or I could call it E, F, D. Okay, so either one, but just make sure that you trace it and you put those letters in order. Or, I mean, you could reverse them, of course, uh, but just make sure that you put them in order as they go around the arc. Okay, um, as far as the measure, we kinda, I kind of verbally talked about it. So if this one is 60 degrees, then the measure of this major arc is going to be 300 degrees. Okay, so the measure of angle D, F, E equals... 300 degrees. Okay, so you can kind of think it is almost like 360 minus the central angle in this case. Okay. The third type of arc is a semicircle. You guys kind of already know this one. A semicircle is an arc that measures 180 degrees. So exactly 180 degrees. In other words, it's a half of a circle. It's a semicircle. Okay, so if I were to draw this in here, a semicircle would be like, you know, like it would definitely um, involve a diameter of some kind. Let me put some letters on here. J, N, L. I'm going to put a K here and I'm going to put an M here. Well, you're going to name a semicircle um, the same way that you would a major arc. Again, just so that we know. Because if I say JL, well, is it this JL or is it this JL? So I want to make sure that I include um, some letters in there. So it's going to be the same as this one. So I could say I have actually two different semicircles. I have semicircle JKL or LKJ. Okay, so that's like this one here. Or I also have this one here. So JML or LMJ. Oops, semicircle, not segment. All right, so make sure you're specifying which one is which for semicircles, because as you can see, I mean, it's, it's difficult to, to tell sometimes. All right, so a semicircle is an arc that measures exactly 180 degrees. So I could say that the measure of JKL equals 180 degrees, and the measure of JML, oh, I keep doing that, 180 degrees, okay? So those are semicircles. The last part of notes before we get to some examples, if you flip over your page, <clears throat> has to do with arc length. Okay, so we talked about arc measure. Now I'm saying arc length. Okay, well, what's the difference? 
arc measure versus arc length. All right, well, arc measure, first of all, is in degrees, just like angles. All right, arc length, that's going to be in things like feet or centimeters or meters, etc. Okay, so that's more of a distance in there. The arc measure is some portion of the 360 degrees. So we have a total of 360. Well, then the arc measure is maybe going to be 60, or maybe it's going to be 110, or maybe it's going to be 180. Okay, so that's arc measure. Whereas the arc length is technically a portion of the circumference. Because again, we're talking about a length or a distance. Okay. So that's the difference. So make sure you pay attention to those things in your assignments or on quizzes and tests. Are you being asked for the arc measure or the arc length? So for arc length, the formula is this. N divided by 360. Remember that N, that's the measure of your central angle. So N divided by 360 times 2 pi R. Okay, so that's for arc length. So I'm actually going to stop this video and in the second video, we'll go through these examples that are on this worksheet um, so you can have a little bit of practice with all of this stuff, all right? So take a minute and fill in any missing pieces that you have, and then we will uh, continue in the next video.